Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 and Aspie Let's Play. In the last part, I bought the Punisher from the merchant for free. I sold my handgun and got 4,000 gold for that. There's a snake in this box. <gasps> no! No! You son of a bitch. You got me. The... <sighs> Fucking hell. You... You... <sighs> Pain in the ass. Freaking snakes. I guess he wasn't within distance of my knife. My knife should have gotten him, but he was just a little bit out of range. And those snakes, they only give you one opportunity to hit with your knife, so if you miss that first shot, they're gonna get you. You lose health, you have to use healing items. Yeah. There are actually snakes in the water around here. Maybe I can find one so I can get an egg from it. The snakes that you find in the water can't hurt you. Oh, this is gonna be good. What? Hey! You... I turned my back to you, good sir. Also, these guys just walked into his own trip mine. Take out your other hatchet. That's right. enemies in this area are almost out. So, there's this guy, and there's that guy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there's that! Oh, I forgot about that. Damn it! Damn you! Damn you to hell! I'm not gonna waste my bullet on that trip mine. There's a treasure in a bird's nest over here. I'm gonna go get that. Also, I suppose it should be noted that these are the last enemies that you will be facing in daylight. After the Lago, the game goes to night, six hours ahead, and then the Plaga comes out, because sunlight is dangerous to the Plaga, and the Plaga hides during the day. It will be very exciting after this chapter, once I feed the boss, but who's to say that the boss isn't exciting? Let's take another egg. I... I don't want to face the Lago with less than full health. If he does so much damage to me that I can't recover, then it adds a death, and I can't let that happen. Let's go watch an, op an optional cutscene from the safety of this cliff over here. Villagers, they speak very strange phrases. If you listened, if you had to listen to the same phrases they say in English, this game would be agonizing to play. I just made my title for Chapter 7, Os Boil Pero... Os Boil Rompero Perazos. That means I'm going to break you into pieces. That's what... One of the, that's what the villager with the dirty white shirt and overall says when he spots you. Imagine if you had to listen to that in English. I'm gonna break you into pieces. It just sounds so cheesy. So, I give kudos to Capcom and the makers of Resident Evil 4 for using the exoticism of foreign languages to their advantage. I applaud you. 
I'm in a pretty good position right now. Once I beat Del Lago, which means of the lake, I can sell off the items that I'm not using right now, make even more room for other ones, and I think I'll go fishing. Yes, I will go fishing. Unfortunately, I can't use my items during this fight except for my healing items, so I'm going to go ahead to the other side of the lake and trigger the cutscene past these logs. No, I thought it was going to be... Oh, shit. Don't worry. Nothing can happen to Leon. Oh my god, it's a cutscene. Delago is the first mon real monster you face in the game. People, the player at this point can be scratching his head like, why is it that I can shoot these villagers in the face and they don't go, they don't just die? Well, this is... This is a different kind of monster. This guy is very big. Not only that, he can eat you alive. What a sticky situation Leon is in. I really hope they don't screw me over at this, okay. I don't I'm not gonna have an opportunity to sh oh no. Wait. Okay. I made it. I'm not gonna have an opportunity to strike until I can make it past the logs without hitting them. Shit. Yes! Made it right past them. Uh yeah, I think it's time. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. The direction that the rope was facing when Delago disappeared is the direction that it's usually the direction that he resurfaces from. Uh uh. That's the first time in a while I missed that. Oh shit. Dodge! I made it. Okay, now move out of the way. Oh, that's it. Just moving right back to this stage again? Okay. Oh, he's right behind me. No. Thank you for second hit. Okay. He's almost out of health at this point. I've hit him, I don't even know how many times. I, ne I never keep track. Aw, oh, it should have given me the opportunity to pull out a harpoon. Gotta move out of the way of the log! Oh, shit. That took out two and a half bars of health. So, yeah, I'm in not the zero danger of dying right now. I just have to use a healing item now. And for some reason, him ramming the boat doesn't cause you to get completely swamped. And he dived again. Dive number three. Okay, I'm predicting that he's gonna come. Why am I. That's never failed me before. Okay, I will hit him this time. Yeah! Ah, uh, he's dead. And I only had to use one healing item. That is pretty good in my opinion. What? No! For you, if you were not paying attention up to this point, you die! I think Del Lago is a salamander, actually, because he's got like fingers and toes.
I like it how there's like a little progression with each chapter. You know, first he gets injected, then he finds out that he's infected. Now he finds out that something really weird is going on with his body. But you don't know what it means. 88% hit ratio, 53 enemies killed, making a total of 144 enemies killed. In the next chapter, we're going to be starting at night. So now the Lost Plagas are going to be coming out. I'm going to be doing a lot of exploring up to the El Gigante boss in Chapter 2-1. I'm really looking forward to getting that Red 9 after I rescue Ashley from the church. I'll see you guys next time.